G'day everybody, my name's Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Well I've just come back from fishing two days down at the Lifestyle on Water Festival at Redcliffe, uh, participating in the Moreton Bay Madness fishing competition as part of the Oz Tackle team. And I was very fortunate that I was teamed up with two very experienced fishermen and one of the best things about going to different places and competing in different little family based competitions or even semi serious competition is fishing with other people and learning tips and tricks uh, from those people. I was very fortunate to be fishing with John Wright who has fished a number of ABT rounds and he's very much into his brim fishing. So the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, we were fishing in the Pine River on the north side they're very pressured uh, waterways. So one of the things that I've learned as I've been moving up and down the East Coast is even though the fundamental basics of your technique remain the same, you do need to adjust your approach slightly. And when it comes to these pressured waterways, you really do have to be quite finesse with your fishing. I also picked up a new retrieval technique. Something that I probably wouldn't have thought about uh, fishing in Harvey Bay so much because in Harvey Bay we can afford to be a little bit more aggressive with our retrieves um, and it's it's a bit of a, a funny thing going from chasing tuna and chasing pelagics and things like that to coming back and chasing some of the smaller species but I reckon it's a retrieve that's really going to improve my uh, flathead fishing and that's exactly where I'm going to apply it today. I'm going to take out the little gizmo from Oz Tackle. You've seen this lure before, we know they work on flathead. The only difference really today is I'm going to use the soft plastic on it. This is a, a, a paddle worm from Oz Tackle. It's um, one of their toughies, so you can wrap that around the world and it ain't going to break. I've had a lot of success fishing uh, the gizmo with or without the plastic using the single hop or the slow roll retrieve which you would have read about in the May edition of Fish and Boat magazine. If you haven't, grab a copy at the news agent. If not, go online and get an online subscription. That way you get access to all the previous editions. Um, there's diagrams in there on those basic retrieves if you're just starting out in soft plastic fishing. The retrieve I'm going to use today builds on um, it kind of combines the two actually. Okay, so rush, rush, hop, hop is the name of the game. So the idea being cast your lure out into your target area exactly as you normally would. Let it sink to the bottom and you'll know when it's on the bottom because even though your line will be slack, like there'll be a little bit of a, a curve in your line, once it hits the bottom, it just drops out. Okay, so it goes really sort of slack on you. That's when you know on the bottom. Now with the slow roll technique, once it's on the bottom you just start winding your reel until you feel the little bumps as it's moving along and you wind a little bit quicker just to get it up off the, off the bottom and it will just come straight line back towards the boat. Uh, great retrieve. Single hop, once it's on the bottom lift your rod tip up, wind, 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 lift your rod tip up, wind, wind, wind and the lure just goes up and comes down, up and comes down. Fish generally hit it on the drop. Rush, rush, hop, hop combines the two in many ways. You want the lure to hit the bottom and then using a, you got your rod tip down low and then you sort of want to pull it two to three times really quickly while you reel and the lure then scurries along the bottom, churns up all sorts of stuff, just goes rush, rush, rush across the bottom. Dust and debris goes everywhere, mud goes everywhere and any predatory fish in the immediate area go what's that? Okay, so for the idea with Flathead, they'll come out of their hole to start investigating because they've seen something. Then you pause it for a couple of seconds and then you either give it one hop or you can give it a double hop, it doesn't really matter. But the idea being is that you've stirred up all of this debris, the lure then pops up and the fish goes, aha, that's where it is. As it comes down, they strike. All right. So you're combining the two really into one retrieve. Rush, 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 hop it, hop it, pause, wait a while. John does it for about 30 seconds. I don't know how he's so patient in doing that. I'm sitting there trying to do it every couple of seconds. But 
a really effective retrieve and as I said before he outfished us all and the only time I started catching fish was when I applied that technique in that area so I'm going to take it out today into Harvey Bay a couple of little creeks I mean all of the creeks and drains along the western side of Fraser Island will produce flathead alright so there's no real secret locations or anything you just got to be there at the right time right time of the tide and fish effectively so that's what we're going to try and do today. Rush, rush, hop, hop. And we'll see if the little gizmo can uh, snag us dinner tonight. Here we go. Okay, so here we go, folks. You can see nice little narrow creek up here. All right, there's a bit of a channel moving straight up here. Okay, and all I'm going to do is cast it up in there. Rush, 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 lift, lift, rush, 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 lift, lift, back to the boat. All right, and I'll just do it a couple of times to see if we can score a flathead. Nice on cast, let your lure sink, alright? I know it's only about three foot in there, so just sink real quick. Okay, so rush, 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 lift, lift. Rush, rush, rush. folks guess who's coming for dinner thanks very much for watching i hope you got something out of this video please remember to hit the subscribe button leave a comment and as always i hope to see you out in the water